In this video, we are going to discuss the OTG volume bars. The volume bars have been designed specifically for traders who are not comfortable looking at the myriad of numbers that come through uh, from a volume perspective on a time and sales uh, sheet, or uh, maybe you are looking at the traditional footprint type chart. Here's a traditional footprint. Uh, chart you can see all of the information that's in each one of these individual bars you can squeeze this in and you can find uh, points of control on these bars and some things like that but there are traders uh, and there are a number of you uh, who don't find this informational information to be useful or it's difficult uh, for you to process all of these numbers and to make some sense out of what they mean. Uh, we designed these volume bars here at the Oil Trading Group uh, to specifically address those traders who would prefer to have some uh, a more visual uh, cue as to where volume has been accumulating or stacking where the buyers have stepped in where the sellers have stepped in uh, and those kinds of ideas so what you're looking at here is our volume bar chart and this what you see here this is just a standard uh, chart candlestick chart with uh, our support and resistance levels on let's turn those off for just a moment and uh, we'll leave these here these are just a standard three minute chart with uh, without the volume applied What's unique about these bars is that if you hit uh, this button up here, there's a V up here that changes them into volume bars. And all of a sudden, uh, bars that look fairly standard, and you can see that there was a run up here, uh, but you don't know how powerful that run uh, up was. Uh, you turn on the volume bars, and all of a sudden, uh, there, the, there is a more crystallized picture that comes into play here. So what you can see is that we had a real uh, effort to break out above right here. A lot of volume coming into this bar, a lot of volume coming into this bar. One of the ways that we like to use uh, this tool is we like to say that this is where, so you can mark on your chart, and this is just a simple way to use these bars. You could say on your chart that your volume stepped in uh, right here. Let me do this differently here. Let's do uh, a horizontal line instead. And so you can draw a line right here and say, this is where buyers have stepped into the marketplace, right? So. Uh, you can also say that the bar really got heavy here and the buyer stepped in on this bar. So if you put a line here, a horizontal line on this chart right here, you could say that this would be two possible areas uh, of support uh, in the market. And you can see um, as the market came down, these are this is a three minute chart. As the market rallies up into this area, it comes down, finds a little bit of support. Uh, you find support here again, market continues to go. Uh, you break down through this area where the buyers stepped in and immediately you find support again where these buyers had come in. So what you are looking at, you're using these bars as a opportunity to find potential support and resistance areas. So the market rallies, continues back up. Uh, this is about, uh, this is three and a half hours after this bar. Market rallies up, comes back down, finds support again where the buyer stepped in previously. And you can see just how the market continues to respect uh, that area of support. And look, you finally got a breakdown through, but look at the volume that it took uh, to be able to come down uh, through these res uh, support areas in order to get uh, and find uh, an opportunity to break through. So again, very uh, good information being put into these bars. If you do not have these bars uh, available to you, then you really don't know that this is a good place of support and resistance, right? Because all you really see here uh, is just a nice move up and then you see a bunch of chopping around. But as soon as you turn on the volume, you can see that the volume of buyers was very aggressive in these two areas. And for uh, a long period of time throughout the trading session, those areas behaved uh, as support uh, for this market. And it finally broke through. And when it did finally broke through, it took an aggressive amount of volume to get you to the downside. So again, just one simple way to use these tools, uh, these trading, uh, these OTG volume bars. And as we go through this training process, we're going to show you a few different uh, other ways that you can use these uh, volume bars as entry points and support resistance levels, trailing stops, and those kinds of things. So again, we uh, appreciate you watching the video here, and we'll see you again soon.